Good morning, Minnesota. Look at this. Look at this. I can't wait to move out of this state. It's not because I don't like snow. It's just because it snows at the most demented time of year. Like, yeah, it's winter. Let's snow. But no, like, no snow all winter. And then the second March hits, it wants to fucking be a blizzard outside. Anyway, I'm trying to set this up somewhere that y'all can actually see me. Does this side this might actually work a lot better just because you can see me here okay today despite um the poll results that i got uh we're gonna be reacting to head split by maggie lindemann just because i posted a poll and i asked if you guys wanted me to react to traumatic livelihood by jasmine bean or fine host day by flo millie or head split by maggie lindemann for the last reaction of march so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do with, I'm gonna go with what I'm most excited for. I heard Traumatic Livelihood is not necessarily like the rock album we expected from Jasmine Bean. So I'm gonna put that one off. God, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna put that one off just a little bit longer just cause I wanted something a little bit heavier today. So I'm hoping that Maggie brought that for us. And then honestly with Fine Host Day, I love me some rap, you guys know this, but I just, it's not the day for it. It's snowy. I want to be cozy and I want to listen to something a little bit more alternative. Anyway, um, oh my god, the whole situation here is just absolutely atrocious and shocking. I'm wearing my Sucker Punch Tour shirt, of course, and I think we're just gonna jump right on into this because I'm very excited. Okay, track one, rip my heart out, let's do it. what the fuck is going on in here on this day okay try again I never explained my little backstory of me and Maggie and how we go back. So back on the life support tour, Madison Beer had Maggie opening for her. And to be honest, I did not like her when I saw her open. It's not that I didn't like her. It's just that I was kind of indifferent because the live music, the venue it was at was basically just trash. I, every time I see a show there, the fans are always fucking terrible. And everything was just very like clicky at that show. And I didn't, the whole environment was just off. But I decided to give her a chance after the show because there was one song, I think it was How Could You Do This To Me? It was before it even came out, but she performed it live in Minnesota. And I really, really, really liked that song. So I decided to give Paranoia a chance. It was back when that was her only project out. And Paranoia became my like go-to school AirPods soundtrack. Like every time I went to school, it'd be on repeat all day long. So then Sucker Punch came out, I think the year after, or that also, whatever it is, it's such like tune the world out music. I love her voice. Seeing her live on the Sucker Punch tour was like a whole 180 from seeing her at the Madison Beer life support tour. Again, just cause the environment was so much better and she's gained a lot of control over her voice and her performance. So I'm very 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 obsessed with watching her evolve as an artist and just get better that shit went insane i was not expecting it so we're gonna get into the next track called die for Oh my god! Shit! 
that one was very beautiful. I love when she does songs that the melodies are so easy to catch on to, but the beats are so complex. I loved every second of that song. So the next song we have is Deprecating. I, I've i heard this a couple times. I didn't really get into it. It's with Sick Brain. I love when Maggie and Sick Brain collab. They are such cute friends. I think that they, the vibe of each of them just, they just overlap so beautifully. <laughs> Okay, the last time I listened to this song, it was in my old car, so the speakers were not like this. Okay, damn. good i love when she does that with her vocal effects when it goes like i love that shit so much in any song honestly not just her anyone who does that i will like your music it's such a simple like attention gripper for me the next song is you hold my love So much do you see what i mean though like her shit is complex she went from like you hold my love like fucking just floating and then all of a sudden like rips you to the ground like fucking that chopped up type like drum Ugh, i don't even know the terms to you heard it though okay anyway Comparing it to my last album reaction, Deeper Well by Casey Musgraves, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. In that reaction, it was so much easier to pick apart the songs because the in it's very instrumental. It's not so, like, chopped up and, like, produced. It's very storytelling. It's very instrumental. It's harder for me with music like this the first time around to really get the message. But after, like, listen after listen, I start to really be able to dissect and unpack what's being talked about. So the next song is called One Last Time. I was a little bit distracted because someone was driving up, but they didn't end up pulling in this parking lot. Thank the Lord above. Sick. I liked Reapers knocking one last time. I love when people bring the concept of the Grim Reaper into music. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that tickles my brain in a way nothing else does. I love that shit. Um, my battery's about to turn off again. I'm like, damn, bitch, just let me sit. Ugh ugly we have two more songs to get through the next one is called hostage i think i've no i know i've listened to this song again once or twice just like deprecating but again in my old car and honestly in my old car this song did not hit so we're gonna see my new reaction and i haven't listened to it in a couple months so let's get it i lied there's actually one more song before hostage it's called 24 so let's see what this one's about i already love it Sure. This is Alexis Monroe. I I don't know her, but I'm about to. Okay. Oh. 
I like that ending. Okay. So another song about aging, kind of like um, in Deeper Well, how Casey talks about realizing a bunch of stuff when she turned 27. Maggie's talking about something that I think about quite often. It's like all the things that maybe you did in the past that have made it harder for you to go forward, which fucking sucks. And I hate that concept, but I love that she talks about it because it's actually been recently on my mind not i'm not depressed guys i promise i'm like never depressed but it's just something i think about sometimes i think about the past i'm like that decision could have waited or like never happened you know what i mean because sometimes you be doing shit when you're younger and it's like oh, what the fuck was that and now i see the effects of that later on so that was that song alexis monroe's verse was very beautiful their voices go together amazingly. I'm definitely gonna have to check her out more. The next song is Hostage. Refer to my earlier rants about this song. I love this guitar. her drawn out vocals in that song that melody will always hit that's getting added to the mega mix now that i've heard it in my new car that shit was good though in this car i love that song actually which i wasn't really expecting just because like i said my first impression of it was like oh this isn't really a car song but it definitely is i just had the wrong speakers all right so we've reached the final track it's called taking over me featuring josiah i think i've listened to him before and i do like him so let's run it <laughs> whoa wait okay i really like that that made me happy okay okay let's continue i don't know why i like that so much that was really fucking good okay let's keep let's keep going i was not expecting that reaction okay <laughs> I feel like that Trisha Paytas video of her opening the chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's what that song is for me. Okay. Wow. That EP fucking shredded. I'm not gonna say it's her best because lyrically i love sucker punch so fucking much like that i feel like that's always gonna be like my maggie album but this shit is insane bitch that was so worth being the last track favorites are definitely die for you hold my love and taking over me but the whole thing this is something i'm gonna be playing constantly ask my best friend jada in a month how many times i've how many times i've listened to this because it's gonna be a lot any fucking way <laughs> i think that's all i have for you guys today we left on such a good note that makes me so happy if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe like the video follow for more i'm gonna be here like a, a couple times a week i'm aiming to be uploading every single monday but like this week it's delayed just because i work a lot i'm having so much fun here on youtube again and i'm so glad that you guys are receiving all these music reactions very well that makes me so happy and warms my heart 
be sure to follow me on instagram for updates and everything like that i do have a brand a clothing brand that i hand make everything myself so be sure to follow that on instagram download the gross mega mix in the description and find links to everything maggie lindemann down there as well and i think that's all i need to say Thank you so much for watching the next video that i upload will be a march recap so every single that i missed we're gonna be recapping love you bye